Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to a call where the tenant said there was a code on the thermostat and she couldn't control anything. It was just hot as firecrackers in there. And so um, that's what I went into when I went to this call. I was expecting a Honeywell T-Series thermostat, but that's not what it was. Stay tuned. So you can't change it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You she said that you had to come reset it. Mmm. System mode. Oh boy. I just sang it last night. I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I can reset it. I'm gonna try to reset it. Reminders. Yeah. Hmm, there is a code here, isn't there? Yeah, that's what I didn't know. Access denied, okay. Access denied. Probably gonna lock me out if I keep guessing the wrong number. Second, I'm gonna Google it. I'm afraid it's about to lock me out completely. All right, this lady had the box that it came in. Let me see. If I can find a code on here. Sometimes they have a default code. I might be able to get in and Main menu setting, installation settings, thresholds, heap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not seeing anything about a code. It's not gonna be in Spanish either. Hmm. Let me see if I can get a signal out here. I tried to Google it just a second ago. Let me see. E -co -b. Code. Come on, I don't have but one bar. Let me see, I've tried nine 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 one 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 and one two three four. Turns out it's not a honeywell. Oh, I got two bars. Come on. Try again. Come on. I got two bars right now. Here we go. That can be found on the thermostat screen after connecting device packaging. Model number is in the Wi-Fi certified logo is a certified I'm not seeing a four digit 
number code on here anywhere. I don't want to have to change out this thermostat when it's probably something really simple. Okay, thermostat. Let's just try going in the main menu and follow this. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to replace your thermostat.
that's my rear that I just hooked up. You know, I'm gonna be coming. If I can, I do a loop like this, come down and do like that. See how I'm leaving a loop right there. All right, got that programmed. Let's see if we can turn on the fan. Right Alright. Just heard that come on. Not yet. It's coming though. It, I just turned on the blower. The air conditioner will come on just a second. I'll be back in in just a sec, okay? Okay. All right, we're just waiting on this to come on. all these catkins. That's a catkin and it comes off a that's a pecan tree. Lots of trees produce those. Like there's some oak trees that do that but my neighbor has a 
pecan tree in his yard and his cat cans get everywhere. Okay, so I thought I was in time, five minute time delay. I just went into the thermostat and it's not blinking anymore. My five minutes is up. All right, let's put it in right. Contactor is not pulled in. And that is straight wire to the contactor, so. If I'm getting 24 volts, it should show up right there. Get 240 here and here. Nothing. Let's go back in and take a look at things. My fault. What happened? I put the right wire in the wrong spot. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a good thing I checked, right? I know. Yeah. Alright, now let's wait again. And that's why you should always verify operation. Don't just throw on a thermostat and walk out the door. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Riley and I have been out here together. Wait a minute, there he is. That's my boy. I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, how about like and subscribe? And we'll catch you tomorrow.